we're going to take an uh, overview of the electrical before I get started. Uh, the green switch has uh, is they've installed here now has uh, replaced the red switch, which was obviously seen its last day. You can see it here. It's actually constructed the same way the green switch is, and I have a YouTube on that, kind of explaining it, a short one. Um, these wires actually are, where, are what these two springs power the LED that's inside, uh, actually it's probably uh, uh, neon uh, back in those days, uh, light that's inside. And then uh, the switch just goes from one side to the other here. There's little rockers that power on from the, uh, the middle terminal, which is usually the, the hot, to the, uh, or the power's coming in here, the hot and neutral, to the uh, hot and the neutral coming out. So it's, what's nice about these old red and green switches is they switch both the neutral and the positive. So uh, European and European electronics, it doesn't matter as much because the ground is reversible. Uh, but in American uh, electronics, it's very important that you keep your hot, um, switched and your neutral uh, unswitched. Um, power cord comes in here. It's obviously got some problems. It's been wrapped with some electrical tape and we're going to either shorten it or replace it. Um, if it's a long enough cord, which it looks like it is, uh, I'll uh, just uh, shorten it and reuse it because it's actually, in, it looks like it's in good condition. The um, black, which is the, po or the positive load comes out here. It should actually be in the middle, but it really doesn't matter because it gets switched. And it comes out here, change, transitions to a white wire. This will change to black. This wire is grossly undersized. It's probably 16 to 18 gauge. It should be at least 14, if not 12. Um, and then it goes through the pressure stat, and it comes back out. Again, it's still white, and it goes to the heating element. So that's nice. That, that gets switched. And then the neutral comes out. It comes in here, and if you can see it underneath here, it's a white wire. And it comes over and transitions to green, which again is grossly undersized. We'll switch this one out and goes to the other side of the element. Uh, besides the ground, which is coming in here and is protected uh, thermally with this little shield here, and then grounds itself on the ring, on the boiler ring. Um, that's um, besides that one, I probably would put it over to the screw here so that all these wires run in the same area. But protecting them from the heating element is not a bad idea. Um, what else was I going to say? Besides having the ground that goes to the boiler, the newer machines have a ground also to the base because the boiler has a um, maybe isolated from the uh, base uh, due to this gasket that's in here. So usually on the newer machines, there's two grounds. So one that grounds to the boiler, and then a second one which grounds to the base itself. I'll see if we can improve on that one too. But that's the electrical.